let me welcome you uh, Siam NPTEL online certification course of uh, network analysis for mines and mineral engineering. Uh, this is the lecture 5 uh, and in this lecture we will discuss the rules of uh, dummy jobs, redundancy and cycles. So, before that let us uh, retrospect what we have covered so far. Uh, at this point I believe you have already uh, observed the lecture 1, 2, 3, 4 and from that now you are accustomed with the activity on uh, network uh, on nodes uh, network uh, um, diagrams. You also accustomed with the activity on arrow diagrams and you know what is a, what is called network, how the jobs are identified and uh, all these details are known to you. you. And also in the last class we have discussed that how the dummy, jo dummy jobs are required in the activity on arrow diagram to uh, plot the network for the understanding of the user to identify which are the predecessors and the successor jobs for a particular job. But to cater that problem, activity on node diagram is much much easier where the jobs are identified in the node and thus the uh, uh, predecessors and successors can be easily connected with the arrows from one node to another node. Where arrow uh, activity on uh, arrow diagram, their nodes are only for the showing the terminate uh, initiating and the terminating point and that is why arrows are basically depicting the jobs. So, this so far we have uh, accustomed to all these things and uh, in the last class we concluded with a, a big uh, network uh, jobs and activities table was given to you and I ask you uh, to solve try to solve that in your uh, house by your own. I believe that civil engineering problem has been solved by you by yourself and I show you once the uh, uh, solution of that one, this is the solution of that one, uh, now I am showing you and this problem is also available in the West and Levy's book, you can uh, follow the same for getting the details of that one. So, this is the activity on node uh, diagram for the solution of that problem and the next one is the activity on arrow diagram and you can see you need to use you need to use some dummy jobs, you need to use some dummy jobs in this uh, activity on arrow diagram. So, these dummy jobs are there, but in activity on node diagram that is not required. So, unfortunately, instead of the dotted line I forgot it. So, it is showing in a color uh, line, but these are the dummy jobs. So, but the general uh, uh, understanding is that dummy jobs has to be mentioned in a dotted line and you last time also in last lecture I have also uh, mentioned it. So, you do not forget to put the arrow, arrow is very very important which shows the direction of the flow of the jobs. So, that is very very important you never forget to use the arrow while you are uh, giving the idea about the network. So, now in this lecture we will discuss about the uh, dummy jobs. First, uh, that means, we will consider only the arrow diagram that is the activity on arrow diagram because dummy jobs are required in the activity on arrow diagram. So, we will try to understand how the dummy jobs can be placed or while a complex, a complex network is given a number of jobs has to be uh, placed in that network. In those condition, how the dummy jobs can be assigned judicially so that that can be addressed now, for that we uh, let us understand the rules for dummy jobs. So, you can see the first requirement is that it is advised to make liberal use of the dummy jobs when we start the diagram for constructing the network at the very beginning. That means, so suppose it is mentioned to us that job A job A is the predecessor only predecessors of the job B, but instead of placing a node here. So, that that can be shows like that 
A is the predecessors of job B. Let us first separated all the jobs with the initial and terminal nodes and connect them with the dummy activities let us say A 1. So, that is the essential requirement in the initiation where initial point when we are trying to draw the network because in a complex structure we do not know now we are observing only job A and job B. Maybe there are job T, job U, job V all those jobs are there some of them may be having a the predecessors of A which is not known to us at this present point. So, initially when we are constructing we are constructing like this A is here B is another one which are connected by A. B is another one which is connected by a dummy job at this point. So, this is the essentially we are carrying out this whole hearted uh, or uh, wholesome way we are providing the dummy jobs by placing in every actual jobs individually and we connect them with the dummy jobs and later on we remove those dummy jobs because these are more number of dummy, jo dummy jobs are assigned in the network. So, let us see the first rule. The rule first rule is first rule is that if a dummy job is the only job emanating from its initial node it can be removed. So, if you see this uh, activities in this activity you can see the first job A here, second job E is here and the B, C and D these three jobs are having predecessors A and B is having another predecessors E. So, you can draw the table is like this A, B, C, T, E, where A is having predecessors none, B is having predecessors A and E, C is having predecessors A, D is having predecessors A and E is having predecessors none. So, we are trying to construct this one and by that way as we have individually distributed those each and every activities. So, this is the activity E and A placed here, B, C, D are placed here and the dummy activities A 1, A 2, A 3 are assigned to B, C, D to show their dependency on the A as their predecessors and also the E 1 dummy job is assigned here to show the dependency of B as the predecessors on A on E. So, this is the way it is distributed, but we feel the more number of dummies are assigned. So, we, so we need to reduce some dummies from that diagram for that for to, uh, what the rules we are following. The first rule is the dummy job which are only job uh, uh, emanating from its initial node can be removed and that is why the E 1 dummy job is removed and we directly connect the E to the job B as its immediate predecessor. Now, see the rule number 2 which is telling that a dummy job if it is the only job going into its final node it can be removed. So, that means, the for C and D the dummy jobs provided A 2 and A 3 are the only jobs which are having the final node reaching at the C and D and that is the only node reaching at the C. So, C and D that is why we remove those dummy jobs and we can directly connect C and D job with the final node of the A. So, that is why by this way we are able to remove A 2 and A 3 jobs because that is if we are removing that one then also the outcome of the complete network will remain same, but the analysis time given to the computer will be much much 
less as we are the, uh, computer earlier computer need to analysis for three more dummy jobs which is not required at this stage. Let us look into the other rules. The rule number 3, the rule number 3 says if jobs have identical sets of predecessors, some of which also appear in different sets of other jobs, then the two jobs should emanate from a single node connected to their predecessors by a dummy job. That means, if there are number of dummy jobs which are common predecessors for the uh, some successor successive jobs, in that case that can be connected to a common node which can be connected as the predecessors of those jobs can be used and that is the by that way we can eliminate a number of dummy jobs. Let us look into the details of this one. Say we are having a network like this where two jobs A and B if we construct the table we will say it is like this A, B, C, D sorry let me do it once more A, B. So, this is A, B, C, D, E and F and if we see the there is no predecessor for A, there is no predecessor for B, C is having predecessors both A and B, D is having predecessors both A and B, E is having predecessors A and say another one is available let us put the value P say let A and P and F is having predecessors A uh, sorry uh, let me rub it once. say b and let us term it as q. So, this one is q and this is the predecessor table provided to us and initially when we are placing we have used uh, uh, all these dummy jobs a 1, a 2, a 3, b 1, b 2, b 3 for showing their dependency on c, d, e, a and f and p and q these two jobs are only the predecessor job for e and f. Uh, uh, that is respectively and that is why we place them accordingly and directly connecting them, them to the E. But in this case as per the previous rule we have discussed you can see for C and D the only two predecessors are there and they that is A and B that is common to them. So, we can replace A 2 A 3 b 1, b 2 with a common joining point from which the c and d can be coming out. So, let us see how we are solving this one or reducing the number of reducing the number of dummies. So, you can see the a 2 b 1 these two dummies are placed to bring the a and b as the predecessors for this particular node from which the C and D jobs are initiating. So, C and D jobs are now able to show that they are predecessors A and B can be well defined in this condition. The rest for A 1 and B 3 are required to be kept because the P and Q points are already available here. Otherwise, if this P job and Q job were not uh, uh, available there, then we could have start the F point directly from this place instead of removing this dummy. So, that means you can see the job C and D have common predecessors that is A and B which are the predecessors to other jobs as well. So, C and D can be joined at a same initial node shown in the figure here so that from which the C and D can come out or can be initiated. So, let us see what are the I hope you, can, you, you are able to understand this one. Now, let us see what is the rule 4. Rule 4 is telling if two or more jobs have identical sets of successors 
the latter having other predecessors as well then the two can be joined together in their final node and connected by dummy jobs to their successors. So, that means, uh, if there are two jobs commonly uh, 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 becoming the success uh, becoming the predecessors of some job and there are no other jobs dependent on them individually in those cases we can allow the two jobs to come at a same point from which the jobs can be uh, uh, initiated dummy jobs can be initiated to show the dependency of them uh, 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 of, the, of them on the other successive jobs say so, i can give you one example suppose uh, you consider of a uh, television okay in television suppose you need to have a screen lcd screen which needs to be attached to a power source so that means say this is the lcd screen which is manufactured and a power source is attached to them so lcd screen this is the lcd lcd screen manufactured which is the job a this is the power point or power board for this is manufactured which is activity b but after that onward when it is required both will be joined together and that has to be used together so that means dependency of a and b has to come in a certain point from that onward it will be used for a number of purpose so the dependency of this are essentially uh, required uh, side by side uh, so that they will be joined together then only that can be useful so in this type of cases what we do we go for this activity a and activity b which are the predecessors of c and d along with c and d along with a b c a b a b predecessors they are having other predecessors of say p and q respectively so that means in this case if you draw the predecessors table a b c d if you look into this then a has none b has none c and is having a b and p and d is having a b and q so in this case what will happen the a b are the common predecessors always for all the activities for which it is required so we are combining a and b at this point and we allow c to have the combined predecessors through this dummy of a and b and the uh, precedence of this one p jobs also and d is having the com combined precedence of a and b through this dummy and the along with that the precedence of q also so basically in rule 4 while the jobs are connected together and for, for all further activities that jobs needs, uh, those jobs needs to be uh, fulfilled together in those cases we com combinedly join those jobs as the predecessors of the all the other successive jobs so this is basically the rule 4 now let us look into the rule 5 which says the dummy jobs which so predecessors relation already implied by other jobs dummy or regular can be removed as the redundant so the new term has come which is called redundant so if you see in this particular activities where a b c uh, i think this one is another one d and say this one is e so all these a b c d e jobs are there where as per the table it is given to us that a is having predecessors none uh, b is having predecessors a c is having predecessors b d is having predecessors c and e is having predecessors d and a so as per this given format 
we have tried to compute this one and to give the dependency of A to the successive job E which is not the immediate successor of A, but the distance successor of E, we provide a dummy job A 1 at this position. So, this dummy job A 1 is provided only to construct the network as per the given table in provided in the problem. But if you look into this in some other way, you can see for job B we need A has to be completed beforehand. For starting the job C we need the completion of B beforehand which in turn required the completion of job A beforehand. So, that means whether I am mentioning or not the job C can only be initiated if the job A is already complete. Similarly, the job E can only be started if the job A is complete because on which the B, C, D etcetera are dependent. So, E can be started only if the job A is uh, already complete and in that case whether I am mentioning that E is a a predecessors of E or not, A is must be already covered before the starting of E. That means, if we look into this in some other way, say A is the immediate predecessors of B and B is the immediate successor of A. Similarly, B is the immediate predecessors of C and C is the immediate successors of uh, B, but in other way A is the distant predecessors of C and C is the and C is the distant successors of the A. So, basically the pre precedence and succedence are of two types, one is the immediate predecessors and another is the distant predecessors and in other ways other, other term there is immediate successors and there is a distant successors. So, if you see into this you will find out say for job H in this example having the immediate predecessors of F and G and M the H is the immediate predecessors, but F and G are the distant predecessors. So, basically if we are, I am mentioning A, I am mentioning A as the immediate predecessors of D, it is also the, it is also the distant predecessors of A and D. So, that is why mentioning A as a immediate predecessors has no meaning, but unnecessary if we are mentioning it then the com, while we are map, mapping the computer program the computer will be camouflaged. So, that is why unnecessary it takes longer time for the analysis, it also may arrive at a difficult condition. So, redundancy often shows up that is this phenomena is called redundancy and redundancy often shows up in a network not just in connection with the dummy jobs, it does not cause any problem as far the logic is concerned but it makes network complicated add extra dummy variables and in other term it also takes longer time for the solving of the network. So, redundancy if exist among the predecessor set of any job, one of the jobs is a predecessor of some other jobs in the same set. So, we have to remove the redundancy that is the essential requirement while we are carrying out the network analysis. So, this is another example of the uh, redundancy is shown here, where uh, it is shown that the M has the predecessors F, G and H. M has the predecessors of F, G and H. F, G are also predecessors of H, which we have already discussed. So, we can come out with a network like this instead of having a constructed network like this. So, this is uh, better for us not to go for this one because 
putting these two arrows showing the dependency of m on f and g have is of no use. So, now let us look into the method of removal of redundancies. So, to remove this redundancy let us construct a table where we remove the redundancy. So, what is the requirement is that the table will be prepared in this manner where all the number of jobs are mentioned at this point say a b c d n. Similarly, the dependencies are possible for all the jobs to all the jobs are mentioned in the column in this side. So, it is again a b c d e and for up to n we will uh, uh, formulate it. So, it is basically n by n table where we will mark the dependency in each and every box. So, that means, say if a does not have any predecessors we will not provide anything in this we will lift all the uh, boxes blank. Okay. Let us prepare the box like this. So, we will leave all this point uh, boxes blank, but suppose B is having uh, A as its immediate predecessors, we will mark a cross on A and say for rest it is not mentioned. Suppose C we are marking as the mentioned B is the immediate predecessor, so we will mark an X on the B as the immediate predecessors of C and nothing is mentioned in this point, but as B is the immediate predecessors of C and B is having the predecessor of A that means, A is becoming the distant predecessors of C as B is dependent on the A. So, A is the distant predecessors of C and we will mark A a circle in this box. So, basically by this way we are able to mentioning the cross for the immediate predecessors and circle for the distant predecessors. So, by this way if we try to mention this one suppose it is mentioned as that D is having immediate predecessors A is having none, B is having A. C is having D uh, sorry C is having B and say it is mentioned D is having C and A. So, what will happen as per the mentioned uh, table we are placing a cross for D as C and as well as A and then we go for trying to search out who are the distance predecessors of C. So, let us see wha, who, has, who is the immediate predecessors of C, it is mentioned immediate predecessors of C is B. So, we will make a circle at B because B is the distant predecessors of D. Now, after getting this B as the distant predecessors of D, let us check who are the predecessors of B. So, looking at this we have found the predecessors of B is A. So, we will mark a circle at A because A is now becoming the distant predecessors of D. So, you can see there is a point A where we are having cross and circle together. So, that means, which as per the table we are saying that this is the immediate predecessors that is actually our distant predecessors also. So, it is not worthy at all to mention a distant predecessors as the immediate predecessors, though it is understood the which is the result of the A that is essentially required in the D, but the time requirement of uh, uh, manufacturing that one is already taken into the network in the first point as the job A is already there. So, the distant activity distant predecessors is already complete as A and that is why it cannot be mentioned as the 
uh, immediate predecessor share. So, we have to remove we have we have to remove a from the table as the immediate predecessors of d. So, this is the way we are basically removing the redundancy in a network. So, the same is now showing here for the given uh, example you can see a does not have a, a any predecessors b is having a c is having a d is having b and c e is having uh, b and d f is having c and d and g is having b d e f so all the immediate predecessors are mentioned here b as a uh, c as a d as b and c e as b and d and g as uh, sorry uh, this is e as b and d f as c and d and g as b d e f now let us see uh, place the distant uh, predecessors of this so after placing the distant predecessors you can see when we place it for d we have got a distant predecessors a here when we are placing it for e we have found the distant predecessors e b uh, sorry a b and c are mentioned and you can see the b at this point is mentioned as the immediate and distant both the predecessors so in the previous table as we have carried out this b can be removed as the immediate predecessors from job E. Similarly, we have got for job F where C is coming actually for both immediate and uh, distant predecessors. So, no C can be required as the immediate predecessors. For job G similarly, you can see the B and D are mentioned here as the immediate and distant predecessors both. So, we do not need b and d here. So, if you look into the table now you can find out you can find out in this we have to remove b from here we have to remove c from here and we have to remove b and d from here. So, that the new table will be a a b c d d and e f and accordingly we can construct the network. So, I hope you are now able to understand how to remove the uh, redundancy. Uh, you can have your own terminology, but this circle and cross is a very good option for uh, carrying out this one. There is another problem may arise if the redundancy leads to a cycle. Cycle means if it is shown that job A is depending uh, is having a successor of job B, then job, B, uh, job C is mentioned as the uh, successor of B, then say job D is there, job D is there which is mentioned successors of C, but a is mentioned as the predecessors of D. So, what is happened if A is mentioned that A needs a predecessors D and D needs a predecessors C which in turn is having distant predecessors A then it creates a cycle condition. So, this cycle condition if it is arises this is impossible to solve. So, in this type of case it is essentially required or the uh, constructor of the network must be very very careful to check whether any cycle is existing in the network path or not. If it is existing then all the dependencies has to be redefined and the cycle must be removed prior to the analysis of the network. So, I hope 
this is uh, uh, the way we can uh, remove the uh, dependency uh, uh, of the dummy on the dummy jobs we can remove the redundancy and we can uh, take care of the cycle uh, situation uh, which can be arised in the network analysis so i expect that uh, now you are able to practice uh, the construction of network more uh, for the more critical cases you use more number of activities for the construction of the network and find out the dummy jobs search out for the removal of the redundancy search out for the uh, cases where the cycle condition may arises thank you